A memo to teachers from the head of their union calling a new contract pitched by the district, quote, insulting the district releasing the full details of that contract. The question now is, will the rank and file accept the deal? And what happens to that controversial cosmetic surgery rider? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer working this story for us tonight. Yeah, Joanna, the district officially sent over its first contract proposal to the teachers union for consideration today. This contract proposal, the district calls it fair. The union president has a very different opinion. Their proposal is not anywhere near fair. It's insulting, demeaning, and regressive. Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Ramore, anything but happy with the first contract offer from the Buffalo School District. The biggest part of that offer, a 23% raise over four years for teachers. It's more than the district has offered before in any of the discussions over the years. But the union pointed to health care concessions. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the teachers are losing money based on these proposals. The other highlight, an extended school day and school year to help revitalize the failing district. The belief is that the more times our students spend with the teachers, uh, the better they will perform. These kids come to us with problems. We have to address those problems. That doesn't mean a longer work day and a longer work year. The one thing both sides agreed on, dropping the controversial plastic surgery rider, which has cost the district more than $10 million over the last two years. We're willing to give it up. We've told them that for the last 11 years that we're willing to give it up. You just have to come to closure on a contract. The labor negotiator for the district wants a deal done by September and says they are hopeful it can get done. Are we any closer today to a contract than we were in yesterday? We are much further away than we were um, two months ago, three months ago. Now, there are negotiations between the two sides scheduled throughout the summer. That is, if they happen, the union plans on meeting with their legal team to see if this contract offer is even legal, which means things could get even more tied up without any agreement anywhere in sight. Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News.